Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking and watching. If you are new here, please join whatever this is, little community of watching me play with makeup and open subscription boxes. Hi. Okay, so um, first thing, I know some of y'all do follow me on Instagram and something is wrong with my original account, the MNDB MNBD underscore makeup. I can't get into it. It's being weird. So I had to make a new one. The new one is ethereal underscore beauty MUA. It matches my YouTube name. Don't have as many followers as I did, but I don't really care because it's just a nice way to keep up with the new makeup and be nosy. Um I have started the fading process. So that's why my hair looks a little, like, dusty. I like the pastel look though, so I love the fading process. Plus that means I'm going to get to do some new stuff soon. Thank you. Please don't break that. So the first thing is I have a few new products. So I have an, a small old to order an Amazon item and e.l.f. So from e.l.f. the first thing I got was their new Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. I've used this three times. I got it not yesterday but the day before yesterday. I've used it morning and night and morning and it does remove makeup really well as long as you use like some kind of silicone or brush remover. I like silicone. It's less harsh but still deep cleanses. Um, like a foray Royo, but I have like just the cheap little handheld version. This is a gel based soft foaming cleanser. Washes away oil, impurities, makeup, hydrating cleanser contains skin loving, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, blah blah blah. No parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. And in the ingredients, fragrance is like in the middle, but, and that made me really nervous, but it's so far down, like in the middle, and the scent is like so light. It's a really nice scent, actually. Like, it smells very naturally. So that was the first thing. It's brand new. It's six bucks. And I love it. So I found a new cleanser that's not like $30 like the one I've been using. And then the next thing I got is the brand new Flawless Brightening Concealer. So this is 5 bucks. I'm pretty sure. This is their new little concealer pen. I haven't even clicked it yet. It's like one of the brush tips. Like the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. It says to shake first. Luminosity is a clay. It looks like a dick away. A click. If you look at it fast, it looks like luminosity is a dick away. Create a bright and flawless complexion with a flick of a pen. Use this buildable brightening concealer to highlight all over your face. Lightweight texture highlights key features infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Conceal uneven skin tones. So I got the second shade up. Fair 15 W because the next shade looked dark. It is supposed to be brightening, so. But I think this might match my skin tone. Why does it smell? Oh my god. Has anyone smelled this? It smells like burning tire rubber, like if you do a donut. Why does it smell like that? Okay, so that's from Elf. 
And then from Amazon, I got the new L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream and a Concealer. And I got shade W Fair W1 to 2. The shades are like this. And then they have like Fair Light shade C3 to 4 and stuff like that. But I saw someone use this and get what they thought was their skin tone but it was actually darker so I thought this would work because you know their shades do run darker looks like this there's 12 milliliters in it and it looks like a perfect match nice and yellow so I think I'm gonna try this on one side and then try the elf one on the other side or maybe try the e.l.f. one on top since it's a brightening concealer. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So from Ulta, I have another Ulta order coming because I used my points and only paid $3 for some um, colorful eyeliners because I love colorful eyeliners. I have a Shein order coming. I was trying to wait to do this until my Shein order came so I would have like almost a full face, but I just want to test those concealers. So I got a free little goodie bag for spending a certain amount. I got two of my Waterfall Gentle Tonics from ColourPop. Favorite toner in the world for morning. My nighttime toner is the um, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. And I was going to get the matching moisturizer to the Holy Hydration, the fragrance free one. But when I was reading, I like the sound of this one better. This is the Super Hydrate, a moisturizer with hydrating squalane. And I don't see any fragrance in the um, ingredients. And it has, I love the pastel purple. I want this hair color again. I love it. Um, love the packaging so much. It looks like the Illamasqua Hydro Gel um, Primer. It's like a jelly. I have not tried this yet. I want to wait until I'm done with my moisturizer. I'm almost out of. Has no smell at all. But as you can see, it's like a jelly. And literally, I barely have any on my finger. And it goes so far. It turns into like water. So I'm really excited. My favorite daytime moisturizer is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Moisturizer. And it's just expensive, so I'm hoping this will replace it. And the makeup item that I got is the Mascara Revolution from Makeup Revolution. I already took the plastic seal off, but I haven't tried it yet. I've heard really good things about this. The two things I will spend all my money on are concealer and mascaras because they're my favorite things. So in the goodie bag, so I'm going to be trying the concealers, the mascara, and in the free bag, I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Preps, Smooth, and Protects. So I'm going to be trying this out. Just a cute little sample. I got the... I hate how they put Lancome things in these big bags, like, for no reason. This is the Advanced Genifique Concentrate. And then I got the Silas Booster XL. It's a mascara primer. I already have one of these, so I'm going to save this one for a future giveaway, which will be very soon. I got the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's a little oil bottle. Excited about that. And I got a little sample of It Confidence in a Cream, which I do really like this. So I'm excited. I, it's one of those little false bottoms. I use, this is my daytime and nighttime, not moisturizer, um, face cleanser, the It Confidence in a Cleanser. 
more um, face wash and it's expensive I've been getting it off Ipsy for pretty cheap but I don't know how long they're gonna keep doing that this is six bucks so you know there's a difference you are beautiful you are it oh that's sweet I know it's really really dark I don't even know if you can see me but it is so nasty outside it looks like it's nighttime that was everything in the little sample bag so my eyes are primed with the wet n wild primer I'm going to for the makeup that I know I probably could have just did this stuff on my own without filming it but I like to film playing with makeup. I'm going to be using the Aura and Out palette. I love this palette so much. It looks like these. And I just want to play with it again. I haven't used it in a while and I want to use it.
So I have just a nice orange, peachy, greeny, bluey, minty, sparkly look on my eyes. I love it. I mixed the NYX White Gel Eyeliner with my LA Girl Fresh Eyeliner to make a more minty blue, pastel blue like what's on my lid. Love it. Okay, so I thought about it, and I really don't think I should use a new primer with new concealers. So I'm going to save that for another video. I'm going to use primers that I know how they work and that I love. Okay, let's do these concealers. I'm going to do the e.l.f. on this eye and the L'Oreal on this eye, and we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. So, I bought an ear piercing gun off Amazon, just like the standard gun, and it comes with a bunch of standard studs, sterile, sterling silver studs to get it healed with and stuff, and... So I can pierce my second and third hole and do my daughter's second hole. I really want to do up here, but I think that's pretty dangerous to do yourself. So I'm going to just go and get that done. Because you can get this done to relieve migraines and stuff. And Or is it this one? I can't remember. One of them. Whichever one that is, that's what I'm going to do because I get really bad migraines. Like a lot. And I'm too chicken shit pussy bitch to go to the doctor because I absolutely hate going to the doctor. I have to go every month or three for my medicine doctor. So that's enough for me. Okay. I do that much.
Okay, so I'm not a big fan of the e.l.f. one, like, alone. I love this L'Oreal concealer. I don't know how it'll look on the rest of my face since it is kind of an eye cream in a concealer. Since I usually only use concealer, I am using a tinted moisturizer today because I feel like it. But I'm just going to test it real quick. Okay, but like I was saying, I really like them together. The e.l.f. one is a little bit drying on its own. But over that L'Oreal one, I really like it. I'll try it over my other concealers that I love. But I like them. They're nice. I like the e.l.f. concealer. It's nice. It's very dewy. I really like that. I like it on my chin so far. I don't think this is a face concealer though. I really like it under my eyes though. I'm just going to go ahead and put on my Tarte Maracuja. The Tarte Tinted Moisturizer is a little bit dark for me. That's why I wanted something that would um, be a little bit darker. Because this is actually very brightening. That's what it is. I was going to say light, but it's a brightening concealer. And that's what it does. I added a little bit of the L'Oreal one on each side because I really like it. I chose a powder that does not change the color of my face. It just sets it. It's the ColourPop pressed powder. share a little hack with y'all if you unsubscribe from boxycharm each month i do it because i don't know if i'm going to be able to afford it the next month but it actually works out because they send you emails when you unsubscribe saying subscribe now and use this promo code and get a free gift last month i got a free whole um what's that oil it's an expensive brand oil this month, I'm getting that Eloise palette that was in the premium box last month. 
which I'm probably not going to use, but I can use it for a giveaway. Good idea there. And BoxyCharm is pretty fucked up anyway, so I don't mind taking it from them. It's not really taking. I'm unsubscribing and resubscribing because I'm broke and I don't know if I'm going to have the money. So, And I get free stuff out of it. The cat jumped on the sink, and I hate when he does that. He gets cat hair everywhere. My packaging just broke on both sides. So... I'll talk about it in my next video. I actually got sent something from Octoly again. I've been sent something from them before. Not because I have enough followers, but because they do um, campaigns sometimes with people that don't have as many followers. And the last product was a skincare product from Goop, which I was obsessed with. I wish I could afford it. Goop is on Afterpay now. Goodbye wallet. But this time it was the Dashing Diva Gel Nail Sticker Strips. And I actually ordered um, press-on nails from Dashing Diva two packs from Ulta one time a few months ago. And they were the worst press-on nails I've ever used. And I even... On the second pair when I went to go use it, I peeled off the sticky part so I could just use glue with them. And they still just were not very good fake press-on nails or glue-on nails. Um, these nail strips, they're actually very good. They stick really well. They hold through water. They don't peel up. I tested it on my real stubby, horrible nail. And I tested it over plain um whitish pink acrylics fake nails plastic nails and it stuck really well to them too so i actually really like them what's next highlight don't know how this is i think gold and blue look really good together this is my rms living glow face and body powder This just properly makes you look like a proper glowing bronze goddess. I love it. I used it because it has a peachy undertone, which looks good with blue. Oh, I love it. It looks like summertime, but I don't really care. Now I'm going to... Use a peachy blush, brisky business.
Okay, this is in my Jolo bottle, but now it's actually the ColourPop Glisten Up Face Mist because that sprayer was just too harsh. Okay, so it's been like 45 minutes. I had to make my son some breakfast and then I got caught up watching TikTok, which is the devil's app because it literally just sucks you in. This is the NYX suede, nude suede shoes. That is cutting my lip because it really needs to be sharpened. Okay, so that is two coats on each lash, and I already have my opinions. I think I need some on the lower lashes. This is not normally a brush I would use on my lower lashes, but I really didn't feel like getting up again. So, this is the finished look using the new concealers and the new mascara and some older products that I love. So this mascara is a better version of the L'Oreal Air Volume that I recently tested. I would have to say I do like the Nude Sticks concealer that I just got a little more than 
the ones I tested today. But I like this mascara way more. Okay. I really like this mascara. Ow. Sorry. I heard really good things about it and that's what made me want to try it. And I'm really glad I did. Because I absolutely love it. And that's depending on if it flakes or not. Hopefully it won't. I love this whole look. It is so me. So, as for the concealers. I really, really like this one. It's very hydrating. Very dewy. Love it. Good coverage for me. It's light coverage. This, hate the way it smells. I like them together, not so much on its own. This is more for those dark areas. My under eyes are a little bit more brightened than I would usually like them to be. But other than that, I like them. This one I like more than this one. But let me know if you've tried either of these yet or if you've ever tried that mascara. I love my eyelashes and eyeshadow right now. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.